Okay, I got a new travel bag, my Kipling backpack that I am so excited to use for this upcoming Thanksgiving. I'm going to be flying out to see family, so I'm going to share how I have it all set up and the features that I'm loving about this bag. Okay, so I've had this bag now for about a couple of months. I've already used this a few times when I went to the Santa Cruz Beach and I went to San Francisco. And I'm going to be now flying back to Tucson to visit some family. But this is my new favorite travel accessory. I just love this little tote slash backpack mix. So I'm going to share with you all of the things I have packed and what I'm loving about the features that it offers. So let's take a look here. First in the front compartment. Okay so in the front it has this magnetic um, closure and this little slip inside is where I hold my cosmetic, um, what is this, like my makeup, my pressed powder, and then I have tissue, and I hold some of like my lip gloss. So it's pretty much items that I reach for the most that I don't have to worry about, you know, finding in the ooh, individual pockets or compartments. Gotta be careful with this. And then after we look at this flap side, this is the zipper compartment. So in here, I have my little Power Crunch snack bar that I use. I love these things. They're from Trader Joe's. It's the peanut butter fudge flavor. Delicious, and there's actually a pretty good amount of protein at 13 grams. So I use this when I don't want to eat the overpriced um, fast food in the airport. I always have to have a little booklet with me for any type of like notes or ideas. And then of course, my little handy dandy pens. So that's kind of what I keep here in this front compartment. On the sides is where I keep the charger for my phone and my gum. So the side pocket here, I know it looks weird that I'm using like this medicine um, holder, but the icebreaker gum that I ex like I absolutely love, it's really, really big and clunky, so I just take them out and then just store them in here. So that way it's just easier to carry around because I like to, you know, travel light. And I apologize ahead of time if you hear some background noise. It is raining here in NorCal, so it's a rainy, drizzly day. That's why my lighting isn't the best, because I'm using artificial indoor light in my living room on the couch. So I'm still trying to be close to the window where you could see everything, but um, that's why this background looks a little different. So right here in this other side compartment is my phone charger that I mean we all love and can't live without so I make sure to use this when I have like a long layover and then I can just detach the cord here and plug it into my battery pack that I use so if there is no outlet I can just plug it into here and then quickly charge up my phone so I like that it has these small individual compartments where you can easily access kind of like the main important things. So just looking here, just straight onto the handbag, you'll notice that it has these two handles, which makes it easier to transport and carry if it does get really heavy. And then on the back, it has these awesome backpack straps. And they are um, clip-on, so you can take them off. I keep them on because I actually do use this as a backpack and um, yeah it holds like quite a lot of weight the nice thing about this too you can actually take off these clips and turn it into like um, like a carry-on or like a tote and you just adjust the strap pull it up and then you'll see here the strap gets really long and you can carry it over um, your shoulder. So 
different ways. It's very versatile, which is why I love this bag. You can use it in different um, ways depending on how you feel. So uh, let me just clip this back here and show you what I have in the back, which is going to be my tablet. Now this tablet is actually my husband's, but he lets me use it, especially when we're traveling. And just wanted to show you in this back pocket, it does have like this large slip in pocket, so you can put your phone, which is what I do. I just put my phone in here, so that way it gives me easy access. And um, you can put like papers or books, but right here I have like my Samsung tablet, which is about the measurements. It's nine and a, nine and a half by six and a half, and it slips in really nicely. So I think um, the width here is about nine and a half inches. So if you have a tablet to give you an idea, it probably will most likely fit in the back side. It's not the actual um, luggage sleeve, if that's what it's called, where the slip-on goes over your suitcase. That's not what this is, which I thought it was originally, but it works out better that it's just the pocket so I can store again the tablet. Do you guys hear that thunder? It's like thundering now. Okay, so to get to the main bulk of my carry-on items, let's take a look inside. Okay, so looking inside here, you'll notice that it has the top zip. It doesn't go all the way down, but it still opens up wide where you can see all of your belongings. So straight ahead, I do have my Beats headphones that I enjoy using. And it's very helpful for like those long layovers or when you're on the plane and you just want to listen to music or, um, you know, listen to like audiobooks. Yeah, so these are, I have like the, I think they're like the champagne headphones, the champagne colored, but I always travel with my headphones. And then straight ahead here, you'll see this is kind of like my makeup pouch. So in my makeup pouch, I carry all of like my feminine products, such as like my tampons, um, my like um, Tylenol. What else do I have in here? I have like a comb, or it's actually more like a brush with that has like a, a mirror. And then I have, uh, let's see, some perfume and lotion. And let's just dump this out. Yeah, so pretty much all of these items I carry just for quick on the go. Portable toothbrush, rollerball perfume, eyeliner, and then this Daiso um, lotion is my favorite. I actually got this cute confetti pouch from I think uh, J Crew or Banana Republic. Let me see what is this J Crew. Yeah, so I I really really like this. Okay, now the rest of the items. This is a cute little pencil pouch that I got in Korea. But in here, it actually stores all of my carry-on food items because we all know the airport food's overpriced. Or if you're staying at a hotel, you don't want to pay for that expensive continental breakfast. So right here, I just usually carry like a small fruit, like an orange or chopped apples or pears. And then, let's see, my favorite teas. I love this Yogi Roasted Dandelion Spice dandelion spice tea, some black tea, and then I have some oatmeal. Oh wait, no, this is my oatmeal. I mean, everywhere pretty much has hot water, so carry this, and then my protein superfood that I got from Whole Foods. So, oh, and can't forget my vitamins. Those are like a must. I always have my um, turmeric, uh, multivitamins, my flaxseed oil, my B12, my magnesium, uh, vitamin D. I mean, you guys, I'm like obsessed with um, my vitamins because health is wealth. So keep those with me at all times. Some fuzzy socks just in case it gets cold in the airport. But now that it's fall, I'm going to be wearing shoes with socks. So that doesn't really matter anymore. But the last item in here, as you can see, is going to be clothes. So I'm just going to pack some leggings and um, you know a t-shirt so that way if there's like a long 
layover or if I miss my flight, I just have some extra pair of clothes. And then, of course, can't forget my planner, which is my Hobonichi Weeks, and then a book to read. So all of these items fit in this humongous um, backpack tote from Kipling. And I really, really like using this. It comes in different colors. I think you can get like black, you can get like red. Um, I think they had like a silver. This is called the, let me see, I think I saw the tag. Um, what is it called? The farmhouse green. Yeah, so this is a farmhouse green, the convertible handbag. You can find this at like Macy's. Uh, Macy's usually has like a really good, you know, special, but I think this particular model wasn't on sale yet just because it is kind of newer. So I purchased this directly from the Kipling store at my mall. And luckily that day they had a 20% off store wide special. But check on Amazon. Um, you know, the great thing about our day and age is you can find everything online. So. Oh, I didn't really go too much into the details here, but you'll see that it has like these side pockets. So you can put your cell phone or your pen, some more makeup, and it has like this huge zip pocket in the back. So it goes in fairly deep, which I really appreciate because you can just kind of fill it to the max. So that is that. Sorry for, you know, the shakiness and the, the color or the lighting. I'm kind of, you know, in this sticky situation because again with the weather here and I'm flying out to see family for Thanksgiving, but I wanted to hurry up and post this video to show you. So if any of you guys are traveling for the holidays and are looking for a nice travel bag, you know, look into this Kipling backpack. It may be something that you could use with all of these fun little compartments and features. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to answer them. And as always, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!